there, my name is Kelly Dale with Off the Beaded Path, and this is your Must Know Monday for Monday, March the 7th. A question I get asked a lot is how to incorporate these little rhinestone rondelles into earring designs. So that's what I would thought I would show you what to do today is how to incorporate rhinestone rondelles into earring designs. I call these earrings the Rapunzel, or Rapunzel earrings just because they're so long. Um, they're super easy to do, so I want to show you how to do that. The first thing you're going to need is four four millimeter bicones. I'm going to be using Jet today, and I've already got them on a ball end head pin. The next thing you're going to need is six of the four millimeter rhinestone spacers. Those spacers look just like this, and they come in different colors. They're pretty great to work with. So you'll need six of those. I'll be using three right this second. You're going to need eight two millimeter silver rounds. These are actually going to separate our rhinestone spacers. You are going to need um, two eye pins, one pair of ear hooks, and you're going to need two pieces of chain, or, or four pieces of chain. I'm using two and a half millimeter. Um, cable chain and this I've got two pieces that are 15 links long and two pieces that are 20 links long. So one is just a little bit longer than the other. <clears throat> to get started I'm going to take my eye pin and I'm going to open the eye and thread on my two lengths of chain. You want two per earring. And then I'll close the link. Once you have that complete, then you'll pick up a two millimeter, a spacer, a two millimeter, a spacer, a two millimeter, a spacer, and a two millimeter. So one before and after, and one in between each one. You'll make a loop, a wrapped loop, a at the top and you're going to make it right above that last little round bead that you put on there. And if you need help making the loops, you can go back to some of our previous Must Know Monday videos as I show how to do that on there. And then once you have that, you're ready to trim the wire. And I'm going to go ahead and add my ear hook so I can have that part done. Take one bead and put it on your head pin. Start to make a wrapped loop. And you just want a small loop. You don't want anything big. Now I'm not going to finish that loop yet because I'm actually going to take and thread it on the very last link of the chain and then I'll finish wrapping the loop. I'll do that on the other piece of chain also so that when I get it, this is what it will look like. These are very lightweight earrings, super easy to make and they're quick. I do will have kits on my website this week that will have um, the black pair like I'm making here, a pink pair, which I am loving, and two different shades of the blue. We also have the 4mm rhinestone spacers on our um, off the beaded path beadstore.com website. So I hope you learned how to incorporate the rhinestone spacers into a very simple pair of earrings. Like I said, we do have kits for all three colors that I showed you on our website. They are $5 for a kit. We also have um, the packs of the spacers. 10 rondelles come in a pack for $1.75. So that is a great deal on those. Um, so I guess that's about it. The other thing I do want to tell you, because I know I always get questions, my earrings that I have on today are made out of this book right here. See if I can come in a little bit for you. 
This is my current favorite book. Um, really, really good designs from this author. So if you don't have this book, you definitely need to check it out. And I don't know if she still has it available. When I bought this book, I actually bought it from her website. And if you purchased it from her website, she sent you two other patterns that were not included in the book. So you may want to check out her her website. This book came out in 2012, but um, I'm loving it, um, especially these earrings. So anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time for another great video. Bye-bye!